Welcome to Deep Dive Defense, military and aerospace enthusiasts. Over here we give rare insights you won't hear elsewhere. Today's topic is a new Iranian combat drone based on the Shahed-181, reportedly named Shahed-197. Based on US RQ-170 technology, you can skip to minute 450 if you already know the story of how Iran got its hand on it. In late 2011, Iran succeeded in capturing one of the most advanced drones of its time, the US RQ-170 Sentinel, to the surprise of the world. This drone, produced by Lockheed's elite Skunk Works division, renowned for handling high-end and secretive military and intelligence projects, was designed for the challenging role of reconnaissance and surveillance operations in contested airspace. To achieve this capability, the RQ-170 employed a flying wing design similar to the B-2 bomber. Coupled with its advanced turbofan engine, this design allowed the drone to fly at comparatively high altitudes while being difficult to detect. Its low observable shape characteristics were enhanced by extensive use of radar-absorbing materials and structures. By the 2010s, US designers were aware that some of their adversaries had developed capabilities to detect even its most advanced stealth designs. As a result, the RQ-170 was also designed to be a relatively low-cost asset, making its loss in combat more acceptable. The RQ-170 could operate undetected in the airspace of most countries, providing valuable intelligence, such as during the operation, to assassinate Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. However, Iran, viewing the United States as its primary adversary, had taken significant efforts to counter low-observable U.S. aircraft. Despite this, in 2011, U.S. decision-makers deemed it feasible to conduct a reconnaissance mission over Iranian airspace from Afghanistan, believing that Iran's eastern regions were sufficiently low-protected to slip through. Hence the RQ-170 took off from Kandahar, Afghanistan, and headed towards Iranian airspace. As a global superpower, the United States utilized Space-Based Electronic Intelligence ELINT, to detect radar emissions and locate ground radar positions and observe activity. Additionally, assets like the RQ-4 Global Hawk provided airborne ELINT and standoff synthetic aperture radar data of ground activity. These tools gave U.S. planners a detailed electronic order of battle and confidence that Iran lacked the necessary radar coverage in the region where the RQ-170 would intrude. Even if Iran could detect the RQ-170, it was believed that they lacked an air defense system within range and capable of successfully engaging the high-flying, low-radar cross-section drone. The precise details of how Iran managed to capture the RQ-170 nearly intact remain unclear. However, the most plausible scenario involves Iranian sensors detecting previous RQ-170 activity near or inside its airspace and setting an ambush. This likely involved an electronic warfare operation that jammed the drone's satellite data link and employed GPS spoofing to lower its altitude, causing it to crash land in a suitable plane area. This successful operation provided Iran with access to the then state-of-the-art RQ-170 made by the Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division. Despite the interest from global aerospace players like Russia and China, Iran chose not to share the captured drone. Instead, they used the captured technology to advance their own aerospace and drone capabilities, which were still in unsophisticated stages in the early 2010s. The IRGC Aerospace Force affiliated Shahed Industries undertook the task of reverse engineering the captured RQ-170 drone under the project name Shahed-171. However, it was evident from the start that, given Iran's potential adversaries, particularly the United States, even a successful one-to-one -one replication of the RQ-170 would have limited survivability in a high-intensity conflict. Although the drone could exploit vulnerabilities in an opponent's integrated air defense system when provided with a high-quality electronic battle space map, it would still be vulnerable to airborne high-power radars and thermal sensors. Moreover, the drone's advanced and comparatively costly components, such as the FJ-33 turbofan engine, were beyond Iran's immediate capability to reverse engineer. Consequently, the reverse engineering effort was divided into three distinct variants. The Shahed-181, based Shahed-197, is worldwide unique in its class, tailored to meet Iran's specific requirements. Its predecessor, the Shahed-181, was able to reach Iran's main regional adversary, Israel, 
when taking off directly from Iran. This was made possible by its flying wing aerodynamic design, combined with a Wankel engine driving a push propeller. Despite being small and slow, the Shahed 181 could carry several guided miniature bombs over a range of 1,150 kilometers, a distance many modern fighter bombers struggle to achieve. Although the Shahed 181 is discussed in another video, its successor, Shahed 197, significantly improves upon it by utilizing the technologies and solutions of the higher-end jet-powered Shahed 191. The primary goal of the Shahed 197 project was to mitigate the kinematic limitations of its predecessor, especially its slow speed and limited flight altitude. The objective was to create a flexible unmanned bomber that could penetrate deep into Israeli territory or exploit attacks from less defended sectors. It would then deploy low-cost miniature bombs at standoff distances to attack tactical, even moving targets. This required a communication link robust enough to withstand electronic warfare enabling the operator to maintain real-time connection with the drone for target selection and weapon deployment via the man-in-the-loop concept. To ensure its survival against an advanced adversary like Israel, Shahed-197 incorporates several key features. The drone is physically small and follows a flying wing layout, drawing its technological roots from the USRQ-170 Sentinel. Unlike its predecessor, Shahed-197 carries its weapons inside internal bays to reduce its radar cross-section. It also needs to achieve a high flight altitude to release unpowered glide weapons from a high position that maximizes their range. To this end, new miniature guided bombs with higher lift-to-drag ratio have been developed to extend their glide range. Interestingly, also switchblade-type drones have been shown as payload of the Shahed-197 both extending the weapon range to up to estimated 80 kilometers, limited by the data link connection, as well as having low thermal and noise signature. While this mini one-way attack drone payload is slow, and its data link prone to jamming, it's an ideal weapon for surprise attacks. In addition to these advancements, the Shahed-197 further improves radar cross-section reduction measures. While the Shahed-181 already utilized radar-absorbing structures extensively, the Shahed 197's design was refined to shield the engine and reduce its visible heat signature, as well as minimize radar cross-section from the rear by reducing the exposure of the engine and propeller system. For improved efficiency, reliability, and reduced maintenance, the multi-rotor Wankel engine of the Shahed 181 was replaced with the Austrian-designed Rotax 912 piston boxer engine, or its Iranian copy. As a tactical weapon, the sortie rate and overall cost per sortie were critical metrics that needed to be optimized for sustained tactical operations during prolonged conflicts. The Rotax engine, with its low maintenance requirements and higher reliability, proved ideal. Its additional power, combined with internally carried weapons reducing drag, allows the Shahed 197 to reach the high altitudes necessary for more effective deployment of unpowered glide weapons. In operational practice, the Shahed-197 carries two miniature glide bombs equipped with infrared or optical seekers, each with an estimated range of around 40 kilometers. The drone can fly for several hours to reach its maximum range while maintaining a safe distance from the immediate front line, thanks to its 40-kilometer standoff weapons. Typically, the bombs employ a man-in-the-loop function via a communication link to the Shahed-197. This link is then relayed to a nearby airborne relay drone, which flies about 100 kilometers behind the Shahed, ideally in airspace protected by air defense systems or air power. A suitable relay drone for this purpose is the relay variant of the Shahed 129. This drone can use its directional high power communication antenna to relay the link to a ground-based directional antenna station or via an additional airborne relay aircraft. Alternatively, a link could be established with a Shahed 129 connected to a satellite communication constellation through its directional antenna system. While Iran currently lacks its own satellite constellation, it may access Chinese or Russian satellite communication networks. Simpler solutions for enabling real-time man-in-the-loop control over the drone and its weapons are also possible, such as relaying information back to a local ground station, for example, in Lebanon. Regardless, the data link issue has been mostly resolved. The Shahed 197's strategy to confront an advanced adversary like Israel involves maintaining an extremely low radar and thermal signature, 
using its standoff weapons to stay out of the adversary's sensor range, and being an expendable, low-cost design with minimal impact on force structure if drones are lost. Ideally, bomber drones like the Shahed-197 are deployed in a conflict phase where higher-end weapons, such as ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and one-way attack drones, have already degraded the adversary's sensor capabilities to a level where robust, low-risk operations with this concept are feasible. Shahed-197 has two key vulnerabilities. First, its low speed makes it easier for enemy fighter aircraft to engage and destroy once detected. Second, its satellite navigation system, used for long-duration crews to its maximum range, can be jammed or spoofed if the intensity is high enough. Iran has mitigated this with CRPA systems featuring multiple antennas to nullify jamming directions and receive signals from the desired navigation satellites. However, sufficiently advanced and intensive jamming and spoofing could still pose a threat. For the IRGC Aerospace Force, the Shahed-197, with its potential combat radius of up to 1,500 kilometers, represents a valuable bomber asset capable of real-time targeting of tactical targets of even advanced adversaries, a capability that many air forces lack. Despite the technological advancements of jet-powered variants like the Shahed-191, Shahed-197 is likely to become the most numerous variant due to its efficiency and cost-effectiveness. The Aerospace Force's missile-centric doctrine, including the use of one-way attack drones like the Shahed-136, aims to degrade the adversary's fighting capabilities to a level where more efficient, cost-effective weapons can be deployed. The Shahed-197 fulfills that role, being a low-cost survivable long-range bomber that can deliver payloads cost-efficiently. So that's all for today. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. It really makes a difference in the YouTube algorithm and is a great support to the channel. The real enthusiast can become members and given access to exciting membership area material. Thanks for your support and motivation. See you next time.